Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're going to be going over Core Configurator 2.0 for Hyper-V. So what's Core Configurator? So Core Configurator is basically a GUI interface for your server core uh, operating system. So there's two versions of this. You can either install all the PowerShell commands within a flash drive, insert your flash drive within your server, and then uh, get into your flash drive and then run it. Or if you have the ISO, burn into a DVD or CD and then just uh, run it that way. I have the ISO so I'm actually going to right click on my virtual machine. I'm going to go to settings and within settings I'm going to go to the CD DVD. I'm going to browse for that ISO and that ISO is actually located right here within my projects and it's core core configurator dot ISO. I'm going to click open and I'm just basically going to click on OK. So how would you run it? So you need to figure out where is your CD or DVD-ROM drive or your USB drive. If you run a WMIC logical disk get caption, uh, we want the description and we want the file system. We hit enter. This command is basically going to give you a list of all your logical disks within your hardware. So right now we have the C drive, which is our hard drive, which hosts our operating system. Our D drive is our CD-ROM, which is the one that we need to get into. And if you have a flash drive, most likely you're going to see the removable disk and you just get into that. So I'm going to do a D colon to get into it. I'm going to do a uh, DIR. And the one that we want to run is the start core config. So I'm going to do starts and I'm going to hit the tab button and I'm going to hit enter. So it's going to start running. Now for this to work properly within your core environment, you need to have PowerShell installed as well as dot .framework installed as well. If you don't have those two things installed, the utility is going to automatically prompt you this dialog box and install it for you, which is awesome. Uh, we're going to do yes because I don't have it. Right now it's going to install PowerShell as well as dot .framework. Once those two things are installed, it's going to load up the GUI and now you're able to configure your core environment with a GUI. Okay, so when you get to this point that it's installing the PowerShell, you're gonna get a dialog box, but it's kinda hitting between the command prompt dialog box. So you're gonna just basically move this command prompt. So I'm not going to participate within the customer experience improvement program. So I'm just gonna decline it for now. And then once you decline it, your core configurator is up and running. Uh, but as you can see, it allows you to configure your settings, your network, license the server, uh, it gives you access to your control panel, which is pretty cool. You're able to do updates on the spot. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's pretty easy to configure inside the Windows Server 2008 R2 environment. Again, we are using the Core Configurator 2.0 within a Hyper-V environment. Leave comments right below, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.